Hello Aries, welcome on my channel, Triple Two Tarot. I'm going to do your year 2024 yearly prediction. What's happening for you in this year? What is coming in your life? What you're going to experience this year? Overall in your life, what's coming and who is coming towards you in this year? So let's see, this is going to be for Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, any placements. If you have an Aries, this is going to be a reading. So general reading, please take what resonates and leave the rest. You can book a personal reading. Everything is given in description. You can reach out to me on my email address. You can even follow me on Instagram. Link is given below. Do not get scammed. I will never ever contact you anywhere on social media. So let's go, Aries. Let's see what's happening for you in this year. What is coming in this year for you? What you're going to experience this year? So we have the news, notice, and uh, information, okay? There's something is going to announce. This, it could be a good news, okay, for you. You have been waiting for, it's, it could be even something to do with that notification I'm picking up. You're going to receive some type of a notification, important information, notice. Some type of a, uh, important event is also going to happen to you in this year. You're going to invite it also somewhere. Now, the next card is a special occasion. Yes, I told you. There's some type of an invitation um, that is very important um, event occasion that you're going to attend this year. And this is going to be your special time, and you're going to celebrate this. It's like a good news that you're going to celebrate. Something to do with the event, uh, some, some type of a recognition, success, popularity that you're getting. You're getting some type of a reward. It could be the good news about your promotion, your success. You're receiving some type of a notice, okay? There's something that you're also going to achieve this year, maybe. It could be even, I'm picking up with the bell, and this is like a celebration. So some of you could be in a wedding bell, like it could be something to do with your marriage, something to do with like... Um, engagement or some type of a uh, in romance I, if I, I can see like yeah you could be getting into some type of a very uh, important relationship specific significant relationship this year but I'm strongly feeling it could be marriage or it could be engagement could be announcement of relationship be becoming official with someone let's see yeah, we have a building success, long-term uh, wealth, our goals. So you're also going to be, this year, is going to really focusing on your success, your business, your achievement, your goals. I'm feeling. Okay, we have the blown away. Yeah, amazed and unexpected. This is going to be something unexpected and sudden in your life. Also, you're going to receive this news, this information, this clarification, this... Uh, this celebration it's going to be sudden and unexpected for some of you you're even going to blown away because you're meeting maybe the love of your life or perfect match you may be even um, going to get married it's going to be sudden surprised and amazed for you uh, because everything is going to be very like all sudden and unexpected could be even something to do with your success i'm also feeling some of you you're going to build a house this year or you're going to purchase a house going to be maybe moving into something travels also here we have a off your throne we have um, regain your power. Yeah, so something successful. You're going to even get some type of a promotion or success. And if you are an entrepreneur and you have own your own business, so this is the year that you're going to celebrate. You're going to be more and more. I'm also saying you're going to celebrate a lot of things this year. Success, uh, your all manifestations and goals are coming through this year. There's a lot of success here. Yeah, you're getting some type of a reward, recognition, and announcement. It's, it's going to be a successful, but you're going to be blown away. You could be going to own something this year, like assets, like some type of assets. You, you could be even building your own career, your own uh, business. That's also going to be very successful for you because you're going to be off your throne. Could be you're getting power, a powerful position. You're going to definitely, yeah, abundance. This is a year. Some of you, you could be dealing with the Pisces. Maybe this relationship is definitely somehow connecting with the Pisces. Self-employed and business, yeah, for a lot of you who are self-employed and business are into business, they're definitely going to be successful this year or you're going to start your business this year and you're not going to be, it's like you're going to be lucky in a lot of things, Aries, this year. Okay, let's see more now from Tarot, what's happening for you guys this year. Definitely a lot of abundance. You're even going to get some type of uh, news information, like, um, sorry, information or notice, like could be joining a company, organization, that's going to be a big dream for you, joining some type of very important, a big institute, famous institute, uh, working with maybe um, famous people or well-recognized people, well-successful people, business, your business, you're going to be a businessman or woman this year, or if, you're already, if you are already a businessman or woman, you're going to be very successful this year. It's going to be a double. I'm hearing double it. 
It's a double, double blessing this year for you. But there's also some type of official news, either good news, you're going to celebrate either, I'm picking up this is something with your home life, your personal life, private life, and romantic life. But could be obviously office, something to do with the work, because you're definitely getting a lot of success. Let's see. What's happening for group? Sorry, what is um, Aries? We have the Hermit. You could be dealing with the Virgo. Pisces definitely is here. Virgo and Pisces. Exes could be important here. Nine of Wands. Yeah, you could be seeing nine, nine number a lot. So some of you, you have been in isolation for a long time. Because nine is the number of karmic cycles, completing the cycles, learning the lesson, and moving on and ready for a new chapter. So, yeah, but there's something about you, Simon of Thor. You're sneaking away. You're avoiding it. You cannot avoid that. You have to face it. Mm, six of swords and page of wands. Okay, something to do with... Um, let's see. Two of wands. Three of Pentacles, Magician, World. Yeah, there's definitely something to do with and the Moon card. So a lot of you, you guys, you guys already could be a healer, psychic, pile, my because we have the Moon and the Magician. So your manifestation, your intuition is definitely going to be on a peak this year. You have to do, you have to trust your own intuition by doing things and making things uh, happen for you. I also feel with the Three of Pentacles, this is the year that you're going to definitely bring your dreams come to into reality. You're going to focus on your dreams, building up yourself. Um, coming out of your fears, you're also going to put your put the work in yourself, especially emotionally, mentally, you're going to be in a good place if you're going to put the effort. That's really, it's like building up this courage and strength to, to, to do the work. I'm also picking up something to do with your shadow work that you really need to do it. You can't avoid it, Aries, you know that, you need to face it. This is your own fear, this is your own anxiety, this is your own trauma, this is something that keep lingering in your soul, in your system, you need to release it. And also there's something like you cannot push people away because you have to face it if you wanna be in a relationship, if you wanna be with someone else, or even joining with other people, you have to work with other people, you have to live in the community and you have to be around people and you need to accept people as they are or you need to make the connection. So maybe that's the issue that you have been in isolation and being single and working on yourself and you never needed someone or you thought that you don't need anyone, right? Or you don't wanna work on your emotions or you don't wanna get attached with anyone, whatever your problems are. Um, I'm talking about your shadow work that you really need to face this year. Are you, and you are going to put the effort. You're also waiting for your, look at this two of wands, you're waiting for your dreams come true. You're also working on some type of a very creative project this year, but keep it hidden until you know you are ready to announce it. Um, I'm also picking up that, um, yeah, with this um, two of wands, six of swords, and the world card, you may be going to travel a lot this year. Um, you're also going to maybe do adventure, have fun. You will maybe ma make different type of people. Uh, meet different type of people, um, but I'm also feeling you may be going to make a friend or partner this year Like you may be going to meet someone online internet or when you are into this person Places when you're visiting when you're moving when you're having fun Maybe that's how you're going to meet someone, but this is going to develop something into like first um, Platonic or something business related And if you're a healer if you you have a craft and you are the owner of something so definitely you're creative, you're, you're, you have your own craft. So maybe this is going to be like client and um, client relationship. This could be a client or you're a client. We have the sun card, moon and sun, yin and yang energy. Yeah, you're going to balance a lot of things. You're also going to attract your soulmate if you believe in that. Um, the person that was going to be totally opposite from you. This is also someone who's going to be coming from a different language, different culture, different even country, place, town, state, whatever it is with the world card, but you have to move. It's like there's a distance between you and this person, so it is going to develop into something. This relationship or friendship or this flirty energy is definitely going to develop into something internet I'm picking up. Or when you are, uh, you know, having fun and you, you're going to be the, wherever you're having fun, you will meet this person there. I'm also saying you, you're going to complete this year some type of a cycles and you're going to free yourself. A lot of you, you don't want to be in a relationship. I can see that, Aries. You don't want to be in a relationship with the nine of, uh, starting from the hermit and the nine of wands. You, you don't have even the, on a mind about relationship. You could be in a situation, you could be manifesting someone or you want to be with someone. You just want to have fun. You just want to free yourself. You don't want to get involved or attached with anyone. But some of you, you could be even waiting for your soulmate to come. 
with the two of wands. It's like you have a wait, like when it's gonna happen or when when I meet this person or there if you're gonna because you are going to find someone this year, I, I strongly feel, because there will be some type of a awakening going on or realization or that this is the one or should I trust this person, should I open up to this person? Again, this is going to be up to you. Uh, this is going to be your challenge. This is going be, because this is someone who's going to trigger you. You manifested this person. You're also going to see this person in your dreams a lot, and everything all is haunting you. So you cannot escape from it because there's something between you and this person is like either unfinished business between you and this person, or this is someone that is meant to be in your life. So you can free yourself and enjoy. I think you're definitely going to have this meeting with this person online, internet. A uh, lot of fun, a lot of talk, a lot of communication. You're even going to meet and visit this person or they will come to you. I don't know. But moon and sun, you will be totally opposite from each other. A lot of you, this is you. You are coming out of a dark night of a soul. You're working on your shadow side and you're moving towards darkness to light. You're also going to be health-wise, especially your mental health or even any type of a health that you're working on. I think you will be fine. If you have any type of a, maybe you have some type of a surgery or you have some type of a, a minor disease or illness or whatever it is, or maybe major, because there's something that you're worried about or you're anxious to do that, don't worry, it's going to be okay, you'll be fine, it's going to be successful. You're also going to be, I think this year is going to be more active and socialized maybe this year, uh, and you're going to get popularity with the world card. There's something that you're going to achieve this year, and you have to give this credit to yourself, because you're also going to introduce something online this year. You're going to create something online this year. You may be even going to create your own craft and you're going to then sell online. You're going to con if you already own the online business or something that you're already in into craft, made, you know, like doing your own stuff and could be a business entrepreneur, be, businessman or woman, you have your own business, you're a self-made, uh, are you going to start something this year? It's going to be a lucky for you. Just do it. Don't waste your time. You may be going to move one place to another. There's a shift happening for you, mentally or emotionally or financially. There's a big shift happening for you. You're definitely going to achieve a lot of things this year. You're also going to be free from something that you were, you thought that, oh my God, it's difficult, and you have been working on it, but there's something is going to make you free. It is going to make you free. After this message, you will receive this message, you will receive this news, you will receive this communication or downloading from the universe and connecting with your own inner self and intuition. You will be free, you will be fine. You will find a way, I'm hearing, Aries, this year. You will be fine, but there is definitely someone coming into your life that you will have a lot of fun um, and a lot of conversation because it's a Mercury. In the beginning, maybe there's issues or you have been waiting for this person maybe to come back to you. So someone is definitely going to tell you about their feelings, finally. And there will be some type of a new beginning or closure or something to do with maybe fixing things between you and this person, whoever this is. They could be Capricorn, Gemini, Virgo, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, definitely a fire sign. Younger fire sign could be. Uh, could be air sign, especially Libra or Aquarius. But there is a distance. Or you will travel with this person, or you will work together online, you will meet online, you will collaborate with each other online, you're going to create something online. Um, but this is going to be um, definitely a good relationship, connections, building up community and working with other people. This is the year. That's your reading. I'm going to see you later. Bye.